Well, hey friend, Andrew here. Today we're gonna to talk about coiling audio cables, so let's roll the intro. Well, welcome into the control room of my home studio. As I said, today we're gonna to talk about the process of coiling audio cables. But before we do, I'd like to give you a free gift just for watching this video today. So if you head over to www.andrewpeachmusic.com forward slash studio dash outfitting dash guide, you can pick up a copy of my eight step home studio outfitting guide. So in that guide, we talk through the process that I've used to outfit not just one, but two home studios like you see behind me here. We walk through determining your studio goals, determining your needs versus your wants, determining the optimal studio layout, all the steps you need to end up with a studio like you see here behind me. So check that out. Also, you can check out my latest online course. So if you head over to www.andrewpeachmusic.com forward slash constructing a studio, you can check out my course called Constructing a Home Recording Studio. So in that course, I take you through the build process of both my home studios, both the one you see behind me and the first one that we did. So as I was building both studios, I took a bunch of pictures and videos of the build process that we use. I talked through the different material selections and why I chose those materials. A whole bunch of different resources in there that you can use to make your studio look and feel great. So just to give you a little sneak peek of the transformation that happened in this current home studio that I'm in. So the tracking room when we originally bought the house looked like this. And now it looks like this. And the control room which we're in right now looked like this. And now it looks like this. So it's quite the transformation and I finally built my dream home studio and I want you to be able to do the same for your space. There's also links in the description below for the free guide as well as the online course so you can check those out. So today we're going to talk about the proper way to coil audio cables. If you're like me, you've seen a bunch of people coil audio cables differently and no matter how you coil them, they always end up in a tangled mess. Well, I'm going to show you my method today, which I call the roadie method. And if you use that method, your cables will come out perfectly straight every time with no tangles and you won't have to worry about damage to your cables from improper coiling. So let's go out in the tracking room and we'll take a look. Alright, first I'm going to show you how not to coil a cable. So don't do it like this, you stretch the cable out and you can damage it. Then I get my cable all put together. And now let's see what happens when I go to toss it out. It's tangled at the end, which you can see there. So here we go again. And you end up with a tangle, okay? It doesn't matter if you do it over your elbow or you do it in your hand. You're pretty much always going to end up with a tangle. So let's get this untangled and I'm going to show you the roadie call away. So let me do it quick first. You end up with a nice neat coil and now let's see what happens. Perfectly straight. So I'm going to show you my method, the roadie method. So first you go straight. And then you tuck it under like that, straight, tuck it under, straight, tuck it under, straight, and then under. Let's see what happens. Perfectly straight, no tangles, right? It takes practice. As you get used to it, you can see how quick it goes and the cable goes right back in this Happy place, no kinks, no coils, so, and you shouldn't bang your connectors on the floor like this, <laughs> but I'm just doing it to, to show you. Alright, let's head back to the control room. So hopefully my method of coiling audio cables was helpful to you. I'm also wondering how I can best help you these days, so this channel exists because I've got a lot of experience in music. I've done a lot of research, I've had a lot of painful lessons and experiences, 
and I want to pass those on to you so that you can get started making the best music that you can. So if you're struggling with something music wise, post it in the comments below and I'll take a look and hopefully I can do a video on that in the near future to help you out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel below. We've got lots of exciting content coming your way in the next little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to take your music to the next level. Also in the description below, there's a link to my free guide and online course, which I mentioned earlier. As well, there's a link to my 2021 studio tour. Well, that's all for today. Have a good week and we'll see you in the next one.